The next poet I'm going to call to the stage is representing out of town, out of state, Boston. Boston in the building. So that's the next poet I'm going to call to the stage. She goes by the name of Eclipse. Put your hands together and show your love for Eclipse. Boston in the building. Hi, everybody. The other poet didn't want the mic because his hand, I mean the podium. You want the podium because his hand was going to shake? I just need to hide my hips. So, that's my reasoning. Okay, so everybody's been talking about, everybody's been talking about sex and the erotic stuff and his busy body is here in Element and I appreciate that. But sometimes sex is not always so good. And this poem is for any lady who's ever had like a man who thinks he's really putting it on you, but <laughs> But he really thinks he's in the zone the whole entire time and you're just too nice to tell him that he's not. So, this, this poem is called, um, He Thinks He's Good in Bed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Every now and again I get caught up in the lies of his sexual fantasies. His tries of deception got me living in this alternate reality. Liar. See, my mind is bigger than my ass, but he couldn't please body or soul. And the quivering... I don't want this role. The moaning and deep within me is not from somewhere in me. It's part of, I'm sorry, the extensive moans and groans are not from somewhere deep within me. He's fronting like he's the man, he's got to be kidding me. This fool got excited about the 11 minutes he was on top trying to seduce. He's panting and sweating and I'm thinking, he just wasted a clean cooch. He, he smiles and said, I got this. I roll my eyes thinking you ain't got shit. <laughs> Far from it. And the grimace on my face, he thinks he's hitting past a new curve. It's actually from him accidentally hitting that sciatic nerve. <laughs> but I'm too nice to say anything. And I hope he doesn't try his areola foreplay and do me harm. Cause with these teeth, it's like feeding frenzy at the nipple farm. Ring the alarm. His spirit fingers are so dry and rough and they completely miss the target. And I keep trying to guide his hand back to the right place, but he keeps going back saying, I got this. He brags to his boys that his oral skills got me speaking in tongues, but he don't know. That's not me spitting in ancient languages, that's me cussing him out in Creole. <laughs> and I'm not sure the medical purpose of the clip, but I'm pretty sure I need it. And the audacity of him to give me fellatio pointers like he couldn't get any more shallow. I had to remind him I'm a poet, I spit, I don't swallow. <laughs> but it's my fault though, cause this is something a lover should mention without ever flinching. But his ego is bigger than all of his three inches. So ladies, here's my advice to you. In a sea of love when a man can't do what he's supposed to do, please remember, love many, fuck few, but always learn to paddle your own canoe. <laughs> All right, and this, this is the last piece, I promise. This is, anybody here got Facebook? Facebook users, make some noise, Facebook. Anybody addicted to Facebook? Addicted Facebook users, make some noise. <laughs> they can't talk because they're on Facebook on their phones right now. This is actually for my best friend who's actually a Facebook stalker. She like hacked into her boyfriend's account to stalk him. I won't say her name because she might be watching, but this is just in her, in her voice, I guess, all right? You and I were meant for each other. And as soon as you lift that restraining order, I can show you. <laughs> and I'm not even bitter because even before Twitter, I always knew what you was up to. I like every single status you put on Facebook. I commented on all your MySpace photos. I poked you, sent you a drink, and I joined all the causes that you suggested. I even tagged myself with photos of you in your album, and I'm not even in them. But I respect your privacy. So when I hack into your email, I don't leave the email from your mom or your sister, just your mistress, but you call her wife. What does marriage really mean these days? And you can call me whatever you want, that's your pick. I just wish you wouldn't settle on the term psycho chick. And when you say go away or no, I really know you mean come and show up at your job unannounced. <laughs> I write you poetry and don't question why. I'll leave it under your pillow at night and you don't even know how I got into your house. And please, stop looking over your shoulder. It's not like I'm crazy enough to hide behind big bushes or trees. Nah. I hide behind cars, like Honda Elements and other big cars on the street. And I don't follow you around because I'm obsessed. I do it for your own.
own protection and time. In case you need an alibi, I have it. I know everywhere you've been for the last two weeks and pictures to prove it. And yes, I call you from random numbers at the Sprint store, but that's because you don't answer my phone anymore. <laughs> and did you get that five-page letter I wrote you depicting how I felt? I even followed it by like 17 emails just to make sure you understood. You say I'm insane. I said we're in sync. Best thing that ever happened to you, I think. And if you're wondering why I just want you be or why I keep to persist, just remember you can't fuck me in your wife's bed for two years and act like I don't exist. Woo!